Good morning, and uh, you're very welcome to this 23rd uh, annual conference of the Centre for Cross-Border Studies. My name is Peter Osborne, and I have the real pleasure of um, being the chair of the centre at the moment. When I say 23rd anniversary, I suspect some of the uh, co-founders and founders, some of whom are here, of the centre would be incredibly proud and delighted that the centre is still going strong, doing what it does 23 and more years later. And I'm delighted to say that the centre, through that nearly quarter of a century of its existence, has been very often at the forefront of raising issues, challenging where it's needed, and being really positive about the importance of relationships on these islands, north, south, east, west. And those are the sort of issues that we're going to be talking about, dealing with, going over, coming up with ideas, and just getting a greater understanding of what those important issues are at the moment. And my goodness, there's never been a more important time to have those conversations as the north, south, east, west relationships are challenged like never before. And when I see the, as you have in your packs, the number and range and breadth of delegates here today and tomorrow uh, across all of the sectors, I'm really encouraged by the interest there is in looking at exploring these issues and really encouraged that over the next day or two we're going to have some fantastic conversations and please do have those conversations with each other not just in the formal sessions even though we've got fantastic speakers sometimes the even more important conversations are what happens afterwards sessions but also over coffee and lunch and elsewhere and uh, the uh, agenda hopefully allows a great deal of room to have those informal conversations with each other uh, during the course of the next day or two. Can I remind you about the hashtag? It's on the front of this lectern. If you are going to do some social media, uh, please do use the hashtag so that the uh, folk from the centre and everybody else attending the conference can see what you say and help uh, get the message out. And the message I suspect that we'll be talking about over the course of the session is about the mutual interest and mutual benefit to everybody, regardless of their background or where they are in these islands, the mutual interest and mutual benefit of having good relationships across these islands. Can I say briefly as we start the conference two or three thanks? First of all, uh, thanks to the um, staff of the Centre for Cross-Border Studies for putting a conference like this on. Um, uh, over the course of the day or two, we will have 120 or more people attending. And these sort of events just don't happen like that. They require a great deal of organization, an awful lot of stress. Uh, and I think they've done a magnificent job uh, in putting the conference on. Uh, and uh, we'll see the benefits of that by the end of the conference tomorrow. Can I say thanks also to uh, the Centre's funders and sponsors, uh, to the, uh, the folk who, who have supported the Centre over many years and without whom it wouldn't be possible to hold events like this, and the other work that the Centre does over the course of the year, especially to the Department for Further and Higher Education, Innovation, Research and Science. I'm amazed I got all those words right in the right order, but I think I have, if I haven't, apologies. And also to the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade through the Reconciliation Fund, and the Centre has been made a strategic partner of that fund this year. We really appreciate it. It's because of support like that that events like this uh, can happen. And finally, can I thank all of the sponsors of the conference. We'll be hearing from them as we go through the next day or two. Um, again, without those sponsors, the event just wouldn't be possible in the way that we have organized it with the speakers that we have and the different parts of what's going to happen over the next day or two.